I believe in you. Oh, there he is. There it is. Okay. Alright, I think we have all the chats open. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go. I'm not nervous at all about this session. I think this is going to go totally fine. And there's nothing to worry about at all. There's going to be no scary battles. I was talking about how I, I, I feel like I'm getting overconfident with my team. Because I, I think I leveled up a little bit too high. You want to see the team? Okay, Devin. Now, keep in mind... We're running this with a a shiny clause. So if we find a wild shiny, I might have to limit it. I might I might need to limit the amount of shinies. Like maybe it can't be more than like half the team or something. But like right now we've gotten two. So it's a bug lock. But I can only catch other Pokemon if they're shiny. And then if of course if they die, then they're dead forever. So I think knowing how brutal this game is. Even if I'm kind of lax on those rules, I'm not using any items or anything in battles. Yeah, well, don't get too attached to Psyduck because we're gonna have to we're gonna have to evolve him as soon as uh, as soon as I can. I need combat viable Pokemon, and Psyduck is so far like my only water type because I don't think there's any bug. I don't I don't think there's any bugs that can learn water type moves in this game. Maybe I'm wrong, but all right, I got a ping. Got a ping, everybody. Got a ping. Pressing buttons. Pressing the buttons. Holy connection. Don't tell me it's lagging. Don't tell me. I don't. <laughs> yes. Actually, yes. Tell me if it's lagging. All right, hang on. This is the challenge of open a tab and then don't forget to close Twitch. Challenge level impossible. Hi, Miley. P P P P. All right. I I am prepared to just go to the next objective. I'm in I'm in the uh, first area of the game because uh, I was doing some stuff. Give her a minute. Oh, man, I hope it's okay. Miley, Miley, you got, <laughs> you got the shiny alpha baneer. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Don't. Doesn't count. I would. I need to catch my own. Oh, that's so cool. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. I'm very. Totally stoked. Choi, hello, Choi. Oh, oh, it's not the... We have to actually go to the... It's in the second map. That's where we need to go. We're gonna be fine. This is gonna be fine. Alpha Buneary is larger than regular Lopunny. Lopunny is tiny. Non-alpha Lopunny is like... She's little. Yeah, Zaddy, you can tell. How's that? Because it's, um... <gasps> oh, Haunter has a poison. That's... That's so tempting. That's going to be so tempting to use, like... Oh my god, this is literally... This is the best possible Pokemon I could have with my bug team. With all the poison tech. And then I come in here with Haunter, who can hex... Which gets boosted off of um, status effects. It's so good. Alright. Alright, anyway. Um. <laughs> I'm scared. When does, does anyone know? I mean, Gengar is going to be clutch as long as he stays alive. As long as I don't make up. Big, big oopsie. 
I'm a little bit hesitant to even go into a battle right now, but I think... Okay, let's put, let's put Psycho up front. I think... I think I have enough bugs to, like, get a feel for this fight. Gengar is glassy. No, no he's not. No, you're lying. No. <laughs> it's gonna... I'll tell you right now, it'll be a miracle. If we can actually get Gengar to the end game, I'll be very, very impressed with myself. We're gonna need him. Like, I legitimately, like, I, I want to be able to keep him. I might just have to, like, set up a team comp around protecting Gengar. Who might you be? I think... We fight these people, right? Like, right here. These punk ladies from... 70s, 80s? I don't know. Bubba, he's a speedy special attacker. Did they really mean... I'm... I get so much FOMO wondering what you guys say. Oh no, so it didn't. The fact that they don't tell you when it gets eaten is like the most mean part of it. Why is Peep going first? I swapped the Pokemon! Dude, that's... Uh, how do you how do you control which Pokemon goes out first? I had Psycho on my on my front line. We need to figure this out because that could be that could be a big problem. Uh, like Peep could have just died there. <laughs> like why? He could have just taken, taken the L right up front, right at the beginning of the... That would have been fun. That would have been huge. Alright. Okay, so we maybe, maybe we're a little bit over leveled. Just like, maybe doing all the shiny hunting and stuff. <laughs> Does it have to do with who is in the slot in the bottom right? Maybe. I don't know. We need, we need to figure it out. I should probably change my character to, to be our, our canonical bug <laughs> trainer. We gotta throw on that green hair. Goodbye! Alright, return to the ruins. Alright. Oh, you know what it is? Yeah! Oh, Miley, this is what you mean, right? The, the Pokemon that's, like, selected down in that... in this menu might actually be the first up. That's probably what it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it's that. We'll, we'll test it. We'll pay attention to that the next time a battle starts. I mean, that makes sense, because, like, if I, if I start an encounter with a Pokemon right now, yeah, it's going to throw out whatever Pokemon I have selected. So it's probably just that. When do you encounter Zora? Um... At the snow level, I think? Why you girl? Uh, the chat voted for that. Thank you, Catastrophe, for the sushi. 
Cause she cute. <laughs> we have to fight this grandma. I'm I'm worried about random jump scare fights. Look at her stylish like leggings though. She got that fade. Eager to calm Ursaluna. Nah, I'm not worried about him. <laughs> Why are you by Why are you Bibberell? We had a whole conversation about how to say Bidoof. Because apparently it is Bidoof and not Bidoof. And Bibberell? But Bibberell just seems that. that B Barrel? Bibberell just sounds. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Why you girl? I should have just pointed <laughs> I should have just pointed to the main dress in the background. <gasps> Why my girl? Build a bear has a Bidoof plush right now? No it doesn't. Nuh-uh. I'm... I'm not that excited about it. <sighs> hey, Heavy Squish, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Welcome back to Bug Hell. Do we fight this bear? Hold on. Hold on. Let's make sure we're actually tracking. Yeah. Alright. And Fernie. Bug Heaven. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if I was good at this game, it would be Bug Heaven. Because we would just be frolicking and enjoying our bugs and not having any of them die. And it's so much worse now, because now other we're getting other Pokemon involved. If you're shiny, you're not safe. I do need to, like, pick up the pace, though, and, and get to other parts of the map, because we, we definitely are, like, strong enough now to make progress pretty safely. Maybe too strong. I may have, may have been too careful. <laughs> yeah, wait for Rowlet. Why, like, you're gonna cave on, on... It's not even a B- like, why are they doing Bidoof? And I'm gonna keep over-pronouncing Bidoof, just to prove to you guys that I can learn things. <laughs> Bidoof! Yeah, guys, it's crazy how, how crazy people get over Bidoof. That's wild. Yeah, see, Miley, that's what I'm saying, is like... I, you can't be too careful, but then, like, I, it's not like I'm going to sit here and try to, like, play a bug lock with a team at level 70, you know, and then think, like, yeah, we did it. You act like I don't have a ton of Builder Bear Mons. Ebrel? The Bidoof evolution? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna cave to... <laughs> okay, I'm just... Alright. Oh, it is Bidoof! Okay, it's Bidoof. Alright, that, that makes more sense. I was like, why would they... Alright. Oh, no. Um... All right, let's uh, pray for crits. 
Ooh. Okay. I should be able to tank another hit as long as I get absorb in there. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Terrifying. I don't like this. <laughs> this is scary, but I'm gonna we're gonna just do one more hit. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. We did it. I am shocked that that Ursaluna didn't have flamethrower or like a flying type attack. Or a rock move. You, yeah, yeah, Mr. Saturn, I, I think you've mentioned the cloth obsession. <laughs> Why were I so negative about the book? <laughs> it's not, I was not so negative. I'm highly skeptical. It's it's because I thought you were talking about B Braille the whole time. <laughs> I thought you were talking about that thing. I was like, what? Like B like B do if I get, but oof. <laughs> oh. It's not as cute. <laughs> I don't think he's I don't think he's capable of blinking. Yer, we got bear, right? We got bear? Burr. Okay. Dude, we did so much of this in FF7 Rebirth that I'm so ready to dig out more stuff out of the ground. What an exciting original open world game mechanic. Wait, so now what? Report to Commander Command Commando. Commander Commando? Commando. Yeah, Baddy, that explains actually most of the video game market, too. You know, and then the minute that Japan started to try to cater to the West, we had that really weird, like, Xbox 360 era. With, like, a lot of game series like Resident Evil and Metal Gear Solid. And all these games, the, like, 180'd their art style to try to look like Call of Duty. It was such a depressing time. RE5 and 6. I'm just like, oh my god. Japan's better off. They just make their stuff. However they want to do it. And then, um... And then the, their localization teams get to, like, sweat as they imagine how to port things over here or market stuff to us. Imagine Ursaluna knowing acrobatics. That's what I'm that's what I'm afraid of. That's the kind of stuff that I feel like actually happens to me. It's like, oh, oh, a Squirtle, wow. Squirtle uses Inferno. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Why? How? Um, alright, I guess I should go back. Let's just, yeah, let's just continue our story. 
continue. We have a good team. Oh, buddy, he wants to talk to me. Oh! Hello. If we get Rowlet and build a bear, does that count as another Rowlet day? <laughs> sure. Yes. Yes. That might be a national holiday. Like, people will probably get work off for that. <clears throat> Uh, publicly stated, uh, on record. forget to hit that button. I need to check that um the billboard periodically too because I'm still trying to get that shiny pony to quest. CJ, I'm missing out on seven star mag meganium. Wait. Wait, what's the terror type? What's the terror type? It's not bug, is it? Is it bug? Okay. Woo. Woo. Okay. Okay. No, it's fine. I'm. I'll skip it. <laughs> I don't need. I just need the shards. I have meganium. I already have it. I have all the starters. I've been keeping an eye on that though. I I watch those updates to Scarlet and Violet, just in case they do something weird. <laughs> I'm actually pretty close to having enough shards, though. Like, if if they added something with bug Terra to raids, like consistently, that would be really good news for me, and I would I would farm that. But I'm keeping an eye on that in case they. I don't think we're at the point where they're going to add anything new to the raids that I don't have yet, but. I need to buy a link cable as soon as they let me. We gotta get Gengar. Ha Happy doggo! I don't, I don't know why you're here. I don't know. I'm glad, I'm glad you are though. No bug hat on a bug lock. I mean, to be fair, I did wear one yesterday. Listen, happy, happy doggo, if you stay, I promise you, you will be surprised. You think this is just Arceus? You think we're just playing normal Arceus? You're so wrong. CJ, you haven't beaten this game? Bum, 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 bum. Hey Charlene, welcome to the stream. We got people popping in over on YouTube. We're also on Twitch. Streaming on Twitch and TikTok and YouTube all at once. Not kick though, because like, I feel like Fangod has that whole market cornered. I'm just not. Even if it made sense for me to be on there, I think Fangod would like take it personally if I tried streaming on kick. So. Oh, you don't even follow Pokemon? Okay, well maybe maybe you will be a little bit lost, Happy. Or you'll learn something. 
Ride on Ursaluna, follow the blue signals. Sniff out the dude. Sniff out guy. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Will do, will do, will do, will do. Hold on. I never actually talked to any of these people. I really, really like all these interiors. I really hope that, like, they have the inside of buildings in Legend ZA. <laughs> that would be really nice. I think that the towns and the interiors of, of Scarlet and Violet would have been a lot cooler if they didn't have so many of them. They might have actually had a little bit of time to make them look like this. No, we never figured out Ponyta. I still haven't seen that quest show. There's a guy on the bridge by the farm. Okay, I'll check that when I go back. Yeah, Happy, I, um... Right now I'm playing this. I'm playing Scarlet and Violet. I'm playing Pokemon Unite. And then... I'm also playing, like, some stuff on PS5, like, uh, Rebirth. Or Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and, um... We were playing Persona earlier. Mario! Mario and the Princess Peach game have been on the channel. Technically, I haven't played it, but... I did watch a little bit more of the Fan God vlog, and I, I gotta say, that Peach game looks good. It looks cool. You're a sucker for variety? Oh... Oh, interesting. Yeah, you're in the right place. I, it might get to the point where I'm streaming a different thing every night. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I mean, if there's like a new release that is like everyone's excited about and that I want to play through, like, may, you know, that's one thing. I have played Hollow Knight. I'm a big... The reason I'm doing a bug lock is because I'm, I'm a big bug fan. And Hollow Knight is a very good bug game. That's one of the best bug games that you can get. It's very hard though. Like I, I'd be nervous to play that live because I would probably suck. But I will play um, Silk Song as soon as that comes out. Once we get the Silk Song like release date or any idea of when that's coming out, then maybe I'll play Hollow Knight. <laughs> Uh oh, I think we're getting some lag. Ah, uh, we're good. We're getting some lag. Wait, Happy, what was what was the news? I th I don't think I, I. It was something about the Steam page, right? Didn't they update the Steam page and that and that? But that's it. Like that's all we know. Did Nico die? I don't think so. I think I think Nico is benched right now. I don't think he's dead. I'm not actually sure what we're looking for right now. <laughs> Game of the year is going to be Princess Peach. It has an age rating, which only happens when the game is nearly finished. Oh, is that what it was? Oh. Oh, maybe we, maybe I do need to slot in some Hollow Knight. That's such a good game. And despite my lack of memory when I was asked... Or somebody mentioned the music in it, and I was like, that game had music? I'm, uh, I was like, I'm trying to remember. But then I went back and listened to it again. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, this game had good music, too. I just... 
I was, it was so immersive. It was so part of the world that I just, I didn't think about like, oh yeah. Cause it's not like, it's not like catchy music that like got stuck in my head at any point. Like it, it was, it was all in service of the, the atmosphere. And that's, that's actually true for like Metroid games and stuff too. Like there's some Metroid songs that I like, but I feel like a lot of the like Metroid soundtrack is better suited for the in-game experience. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Then I didn't fight Grim. I beat the game, but maybe I didn't, maybe I missed some things. I'm sure you could pull out a track that would have like me eating my foot right now. And I'd be like, yeah, no, you're right. I just, I never actually went in, I usually will download it, uh, an OST after I finish a game, but I, I guess I just forgot <laughs> to do that while on it. It, it, pat, it slipped my mind, but maybe we'll replay that. If that, if that Silk Song news is true and we just get like a surprise drop, that would be so cool. All right, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing where to dig. Pokemon Go shiny check? Oh man, we really should. All right, Charble, give me a second. Let me let me at least like figure out where I am. I'm at risk of getting knocked out in this game, and and if if I do, my whole team goes down. So we need to be careful. Can I not? Hello. Do I like bugs in general or specifically bug games? I mean, it just started with, it's mostly Pokemon. Like as a kid, I didn't really like collect bugs or anything. I don't know, I do not know that many random bug facts. No, I don't. <laughs> I should probably. Maybe I should though. Maybe I should only learn obscure Pokemon bug facts. <laughs> Alright, well if your favorite Pokemon type is fairy, I hope you I hope you have a bunch of fairy type facts. Um, or about fairies in real life. Why are we fighting three? Could be bad. No, no, I don't want to use the missile again on the same Pokemon. Oh my god. Alright, we need to swap out Calm Hole. Let's get. Let's get Psycho in there. Alright, that would be good. That would be smart. Good job, Psycho, dodging the stuff. Very nice. Good boy. Soundtrack with the Grim Troop and Nightmare King. Happy. I'll I'll try to I'll try to remember to to grab the or at least give like the the OST a listen through again. All right, Charbel, let's let's do the Pokemon Go shiny check while we're sitting here. This is a little scary. This stunky. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Hun shiny Petalil. That's a good. That's a good Pokemon. It's shiny. Unfortunately, it's not the most amazing, but. Oh, we get the base camp. That's worth it. That's worth getting. 
Oh, we got whales. We got big... Oh, we have two Wimpods on the house, though. If we pull Shiny Wimpod right now... Nope. Oh boy, watch me get a Whalmer. Uh, <laughs> Charbel gets so excited for these shiny. Ch Charbel, have you ever been in this stream when I have pulled one on go? Oh, we got a tiny Joltik. Sorry, for the people on Twitch, you can't see my phone right now, but we'll figure that problem out. We'll, we'll solve that. You've never seen one. I pulled one during um, Spotlight Hour last week. All right, I don't think, I don't think there's any. So sorry. All right, back to it. Blitz, I see you. You can just ask questions. If I just see my name, I'm gonna like <laughs> just ignore it. I'll see my name and then I just wait. I just I'm just waiting for the actual question. A tiny shiny cutify would be amazing. I got a tiny Tynamo. And that was very exciting. Because that's gotta be like one of the smallest Pokemon in the game. That was today. If only I could get good footy of it. That would be great, Niantic. That would be so nice. Lots of caffeine. Me? Uh oh. Wait. Oh, okay, okay. They can yap. Yeah, no, yeah, yapping good. Everyone's free to yap. <laughs> My head was so still, you thought the stream was lagging. <laughs> Listen, I get very focused sometimes, depending on what we're playing. Fried spam, I've never had. I, you know what? Honestly, even regular spam, I don't think I've ever really properly tasted. To be honest. Oh! Alpha. Alright, don't kill me. I don't... I mean, if I get killed by anything, an Onyx would be kind of cool at least, but let's not end the run on an Onyx. Having it in small slices, is it really good? I don't know about that. It just, spam just looks so off-putting. Oh, yeah, if it's a bad texture, that... See, that alone might... Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Fall damage! Hello? Bum, 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 bum. Can they read your chats? Um, no, Happy. I, I just have TikTok's chat on screen. But they they don't have your chat. Or Twitch's chat. But if if the chats get like busy enough, I might try to find a way to just put them all in one one thing on screen. But I don't think there'd be any way for everybody to see. Well, maybe. It would just get I feel like it would get kind of cluttered. But yeah, this game I this is Probably one of my favorite Pokemon games. Um, I'm a fan. 
Bacon is overrated. It's a supplemental meat. <laughs> to me, it just comes down to how it's prepared. Because, like, there's some bacon that does not do it for me. But I think bacon's pretty good. It's not good enough to be that bad for you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, I like this game a lot. The story is a little bit weak. I just like the gameplay and the the open world stuff in it. I like being able to aim Pokeballs. That's pretty that's a pretty big deal. Add a man on screen, by the way, just in case anybody was. Is this Q Nuzluck? Dude, his coat looks really poofy in like in a good way. Like even the tassels at the bottom look like they're very soft. Oh, we get to fight Lil again? Hold on. Lilligan's all the way up there. Ah, I'm being followed. Alright, let's just go for it. Let's just go fight her. What's cooking? Can Fan God come over for Christmas? Yeah, he's, I mean, he's invited if we do like a family thing, like, he'll probably be there. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's... I wanna bring in some stronger, more leveled up Pokemon just in case. I never went and recaught the um, Parasect, but let's let's bring in um, bring Dorito. All right. I mean, honestly, Lilligan is gonna be so squishy, cause she grass, right? How's the run? Do I know Toby Fox? Not personally. He responded to me on Twitter once, but <laughs> I don't. I don't know him personally. I'm a. I'm a big fan though. I like his music. I literally just posted a video. Um, with all Undertale music, and it's not the first time I've done that. It's on. It's on YouTube too. I think on YouTube Shorts. What did he- he said K. He said the single letter K. So, I mean, for one, I was like, oh my god, he responded to me. But then after a while, I was like, I, I think that, I, I think, um, I didn't know how to take that. <laughs> like, it's not exactly you know, the response you would want if you're gonna get a response from someone, but yeah. <laughs> he said K. This was like many, many, many years ago, so. <laughs> Happy says that's classic Toby. I, yeah, I think it actually, I think it fits pretty well. If that's him. <laughs>
Yeah, I think I think Ghosted would have maybe felt better, but uh, I can at least sit here and say like, yeah, yeah, he responded. Oh, it was a DM. No, I messaged him. I messaged him about um, music. Because I, I was asking him questions about, like, the sound fonts that he used. It was like... It was like a decent amount of text, so I don't know if he... <laughs> he probably didn't even read the whole thing. And just... He was, like, scrolling through and just said, Okay. And then... I, like, I don't know. I don't know if anyone... I mean, at that point... I mean, he was famous back then, but... Like, would he read... Would, like... Why would he be in his DMs at all responding to random people? I asked a question and he said K. Yep. Yep, that's that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, hey Charbol, I'll take the likes, sure. Thank you. But yeah, but the nature of my question was sort of like Asking about like, hey, I you used like certain video game sound fonts. I think it, I I might have even been asking because like we were we were working on our game at the time, and I was I was looking into also using like Super Nintendo sound fonts, and I was like, in hindsight, like I don't think I would answer this question from someone either. It's like, hey, is it legal to do that? Like, it's good, right? Like, as long as you're making your own music. Like, Nintendo doesn't own the copyright to the the Roland, like, piano sound. And it was it was some question like that. And he just, he just said, okay. <laughs> which, which, in hindsight, like, yeah, I don't think he would have been, like, I don't think his lawyers would have recommended answering that. Yeah, like, he might have thought I was, like, trying to catch him. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe that's why I got a response at all, because it was like, oh. Hmm. Alright, I have to be careful here, because I don't I don't remember the patterns for these boss fights, and if I if I got knocked out, that's a reset. We dump our entire current team. She posed and then she killed. I haven't looked at Undertale Yellow yet, but that could be fun. I, I, I want to play Undertale on stream at a certain point. Okay. I don't know how she attacks. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, scary, scary, a little bit scary. Um, Undertale Yellow is a fan game, yeah. Ooh, let's let's try to get pin missile. Wait, is she not a grass type? There we go. Easy. She's grass fighting? Okay. Wow. 
Whoa. You know what? I wonder... Doing this fight again, I'm wondering, like... Is ZA gonna have, like, fun boss fights like this? They could really make these, like, even harder. Huh? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought I died. Ooh. Easier than I remember. Bah, bah, bah. Inspiration isn't illegal. Yeah. That's kind of what I thought, but like, I think it... There's so much in video games that can be kind of a gray area, so... You refuse to play Deltarune until it's done. Oh, really? Also, hi, Rad Baby. What's up? I get that, but if, like, once you... Those games are pretty... Good stories. Like, they're, they're definitely built... As, like, a self-contained story... I mean, there's the bigger narrative that's going on, but, like, each game kind of focuses on one of the one of the characters. I mean, the good news is, I think part three and four come out at the same time, so... I guess that doesn't change anything for you, but... But, yeah, if we play Undertale on stream, that's definitely going to get followed with playing um, Deltarune as well. <laughs> Happy is saying that Bro is going to play it in 2030. Yep. I think that's actually pretty accurate. I think that's about when we can expect all of Deltarune to be done. Unless he really steps up production. Because he did hire... He did hire people. And he's he said they were working on multiple chapters at a time. So. Well, I mean, maybe we'll get it earlier. I don't know. I also think, don't don't we have to buy the next one? Isn't he charging for part three and four? Yeah, wait, uh, Bandy, didn't you say you had my birthday off or something? You can do it for me, I, I would watch. I think they scrapped it and only chapter three is gonna release. What? <laughs> it's the same game why charge more well he no ja Deltarune didn't cost anything give me luck Pokemon Go shiny checking good luck Charbel I'm sending you I can't send you likes but I can can I like Yeah, I can't do anything. <laughs> I was like, maybe I can... Like, I, I don't think I can pin comments on lives, but... You can mute him for five seconds for good luck. That... Can can Bandy do that? Charbel, would, would that count? That's the only way I can interact with you in a stream is... <laughs> <laughs> the only option they give me is the mute. Didn't I read the monthly letter? What? No, I don't. I did. I thought I did. I thought there was a new letter from this year. Like, that's from like a couple months ago. Maybe I'm wrong, though. <laughs> no, Mr. Saturn, I like the first version of that, that sentence. Well worth the price for Undertale, but I don't know about Undertale. 
<laughs> yeah, I think he's aware. I think that's what he was worried about with. He knew Deltarune would be smaller. The in with it coming out in chapters, so he didn't want to charge for it up front. But I think He should almost like just sell a pass for the whole game. You know, like 30, 40 bucks to play Deltarune at all in any form. Uh, yeah, I think it was the Valent- maybe it was the Valentine one that I saw. Yeah. Sell the whole game and charge. <laughs> no, Bandy, you could. If you were a real fan, you could stay in the top 0.05%. Ooh, Charbel, you got a big man team? That's kind of cool. It's not a shiny, but like, that's something. Does Undertale... No, it doesn't have 46 endings. What? How are you... Are you counting those from, like, different... Like, version... Like, different console... Excuse me. Console, PC... I mean, I know... I know the different paths. Like, there's, like, the three different main paths. 46... I think I think Deltarune will be interesting though because I, I think it's going to get more ambitious as it goes on. I mean, I'm not... I'll say this as vaguely as possible because I don't want to have spoilers, but like... I got the vibe that we were might be looking at some kind of like like simulation me mechanics, like like town sims. Not like in a big way, but just honestly similar to this game where there's like a hub that gets kind of like built up over time. That that was the impression I was getting, but that, I don't know if that was just a standalone thing for one chapter or if that was going to like carry through all the games. You remember he will only charge 1, 3, 4, and 5 release. Oh, uh, okay. I'll have to look up the list of Undertale endings, because that seems insane. I don't... 46? Yeah, Mr. Saturn, I listen to so much of just Undertale remixes. Before I even played the game, I was I would just get them on my like recommended <laughs> like my recommended YouTube videos. And I was like, dang, I should probably play this. I wouldn't be surprised if Undertale has a record for like the amount of covers and remixes that it has. I think I did watch the Deltarune game theory, but I, I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> Bandy, what are you talking about? What? what is I agree. Uh, I, I, I can't imagine anything where you would turn the music off. But yeah, I guess I, I guess I should look up the Deltarune the video again. There's a new wait. There's a new one. How new are we talking? All right, we should change our look while we're in the town, if if they let us. With Gabriella 
in the bug lock for Scarlet and Violet, we gave her antenna hair. That was green. I'm gonna see what my options are. <laughs> now you would be insane. You'd be insane to play Undertale without music. That's like that's almost the point of the game. Okay. Can I just I'm gonna walk into town because there's quests I can try to turn in. Who that guy? Also, yeah, I have no boozles for this guy. I'm sorry, sorry, buddy. It was that recent? It was one of his last ten? Number seven. Can I put on the Minecraft skeleton wrap? <laughs> Not right now. Listen, we'll we'll do some music. We'll do we we'll dedicate a stream to to requests. Don't you worry. Watering the fields? Oh yeah, he can have my shallows. Take. The fact I would have muted Undertale. <laughs> God, I really wonder how that game would feel playing it with with no music, like all the sound effects but no music. I'd be so wrong. You got nuts for me, buddy? He's not done yet? Alright, bridge guy? Not bridge guy. Someone here we need to talk to, and then I think we're good. What's the ideal Undertale karaoke song? Um, probably the opera. I don't know what I don't know what songs you would sing along to. It's really updated, even in a reactor. You know, the Deltrin started. The spider started clapping the music, would feel so wrong. <laughs> Wait, what? I think Rat Baby picked the right track. Can you really call this a hotel? <laughs> That's a good one. I heard that. I hear people are a fan of that one. You sing along to home? You mean like just like belting out the melody? Cause yeah, I, I get that. Oof. 
I wouldn't be surprised that if in the emotional climax of Deltarune that Toby plays a song with like actual lyrics in it. Because if you really want to do the anime slash like JRPG gut punch, because Persona does this too, where there's a theme you've been hearing the whole game, like maybe it's a battle theme or something. But then in the final moments of the game, the lyrics kick in that you didn't know existed. <laughs> and it's like, oh. Here we go. That's that's fun. And I, I feel like Toby might... He might have the resources to, to go kind of all out. <laughs> the lyrics to Big Shot. <laughs> yes, that would be... That would be good. I would accept that. Area Zero song. There's a song you could sing along to. <laughs> you could really belt that one out. That has vocals in it, technically. Hi, Bronzong. Welcome back. Uh, Happy Dog, you better watch out for Bronzong. He... He's used to dominating... He dominates this chat. You had a dev meeting? Wait, what do you... Can you tell me... I, if it's private, you don't have to say anything, but... Dev stuff, that's exciting. Celestia by Ed Sheeran. No, don't remind me. Don't remind me. <laughs> it's not a terrible song, but it's... Why is Ed Sheeran in Pokemon game, please? Happy Dog and Bronzong? Yeah. Th those are our YouTube guys. The YT guys. And then Miley and Quesadillas. They're our Twitch, our Twitch guys. What do they want me to do? I'm. Who am I not talking to? I went through that entire building and I did, did, I guess I still missed whatever I was supposed to do. There's too much, too much conversation happening. I'm slacking. Do you know that the singer for Don't Forget was also the singer for Z Yes. You mean, um, the Plants for Zombies. Didn't she write all the music for that game too? The singer? Or did she just sing on that track? Dude, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of talking in this game. I don't remember this much. I don't remember this many cutscenes. I think the problem too is I was streaming the first time I played this game, and I don't think I we like we read all the dialogue and sort of paid attention, but I don't think maybe this is a good story, and I just am not giving it the time of day. There's only one big twist that really stood out. Bronzong, you're working on a horror game franchise? Oh, interesting. There's a Pokemon fan game named Legends Galar. I won't say a word. The, your secret's safe with me on this live stream. <laughs> The worst thing you can do with any fan game right now is to talk about it. You need to let Nintendo's lawyers, like, take a spring break or something, and... It's been so frustrating to see them go, like, all out trying to shut those down. Even when they're not, like, trying to monetize or make money, it's just like... They do not like fans doing anything. Bump, 
Oh, we gotta change our look. Don't let me forget. I don't want to fight you, kid. Uh, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> Those Nintendo ninjas. Yeah, you gotta look out. <laughs> I guess, you know what, Bronzong, you mentioned a good point, because, like, at least Ed Sheeran's not in the game. Like, that one J-pop guy that showed up in Crisis Core for Final Fantasy. Just because he was friends with the devs, and he's like, can I be in the game? I like it. But, like, can I be in it, in it, like, my face? Oh, okay, yeah, you're famous, sure. I was about to make a joke, like, what if Brad Pitt was, like, in Call of Duty or something, but they literally did put Kevin Spacey in Call of Duty, so. But that's, it's different when the Americans do it. Are you telling me Ed Sheeran's actually an NPC in the game somewhere? Because I missed that, if, it, if he is. On, it, it, that wouldn't even count. He would need to be, like, a main character. <laughs> Choodle. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, fair enough. How could I forget about Choodle? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, this hairstyle already has kind of the bug. Mm. Ooh, that might be that might be our our uh, our bug little pincers, the twin tails. Wait, we can't do green. Bandy said not blonde. We were not allowed to do blonde. Do we get more colors later? What is this? Oh, for our eyebrows. We do get more colors? Alright, let's stick with red. Yeah. Let's be a ladybug. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that'll do. I'm kind of, I like the bandana. I wish we could have like a green bandana or something, but. We barely had proper workers. Most of them were kids, so we need proper workers and devs. You're just a story writer and artist. It was actually about to get into early programming. I just reading just reading out Bronzong's comments on YouTube which honestly I'm not doing it justice because he's his use of capital letters is inspiring like I probably should give more energy I respect that though I I myself have maybe dab dabbled in some game development maybe maybe not so secretly This character is kind of good, actually. With the with the scarf, I'm kind of feeling this design a little bit. What about Pokemon Z that everyone's talking about? Um, yeah, that's a that's actually a pretty big deal. That that really caught people off guard. Nobody saw that coming. Everybody thought we were just getting like a black and white remake. What's my take? Wait, your take on what? <laughs> Did I miss something? Shout out to my game dev fellas.
Oh, right. You had you had some other game thing that you were yeah. I need, even need to hear more about that. You work on a horror game set in nineteen or the eighteen ninety to the nineteen twenties. Hybrid, New York, and Japan setting. Themed around the horrors of radio. That's cool. That sounds cool. Thank you, Noah. I. I think I do kind of swing between um, educational and then just dumb sometimes, but if there's breaking news that I think is very useful and I can find an entertaining way to share that, I'll jump on it. But a lot of the times I think I just like to make goofy posts. Or like the occasional hot take with like 5% wrong information <laughs> that people... <laughs> The funniest one was when I, I used I used the word Fortnite as an adjective to describe that new uh, Marvel game. Just because it was like a third person shooter and it had a like, familiar art, art style and animation style. <laughs> and that's, people were not happy about that. I don't see how this is Fortnite. Fortnite? Oh, that's not Fortnite. And they're right. Oh no. Oh god. They're right in the sense that it's like not a battle royale game. I do like telling stories. That's that's true. Thank you, Catastrophe. Yeah, I, I when I when I can make something a story, I I do I try. <laughs> god the youtube chat is so funny oh my god I, okay comhole needs to retreat this is not looking good <gasps> Ooh, i forgot to put i need to get um i gotta get uh gengar back in here to get haunter only medley may call me porphy yes hi hello porphy All right, ice Pokemon. I don't really have anything. We'll just hit her. We'll just hit her hard. Nice. This jagged spikes tech, this pin missile thing from Vespa Queen, very good. And I just noticed that there's also an Eevee in this fight. I didn't even see them. Ooh, Psycho! Oh, please! No! No, <laughs> Phoebe! Oh, Psycho! Goodbye! Goodbye! I'm so sorry. That's our first death of the day. I can't say I'm surprised. Of all Pokemon, though, he is fairly replaceable. That's nothing, uh, it's not nothing, I don't mean that in a bad way. Oh my god, oh my god. Cal Peridot deserves justice. Oh, are we talking about, wait, well, hold on. Oh my god, I'm missing, I'm missing comments over here. Nice to see Pikmin Bloom players are real people besides me. <laughs> I have some Pikmin Bloom stuff I gotta I gotta talk about. I gotta get around to that. I have a lot to say about all of Niantic's games, but it's hard to it's hard to find the time. Yeah, Porphy, I don't know if people are catching the the gist of what you're saying. But yeah, Bronzong, that title, that sounds like a cool project. The challenge is always finding like people to work on it full time. 
Otherwise, it's just things move very slowly. Yeah, Miley, we get Scorpy, so. There's hope. Blitz. What's Blitz? Blitz, why are you on YouTube? What's going on? Okay. We, we're starting to reach a point where, like, Pokemon are doing damage to me. So I'm going to take a second. I'm, we're in a new map, so I'm going to catch a few Pokemon and... Let's get a Scorpion, like, as soon as possible. Yeah, Rad, I, I, I think, I think I could probably find a way to get the other chats implemented into TikTok somehow. Because, like, what if I put them at the, what if I put them, like, here? Like, TikTok chat's where you expect it to be, but then the YouTube chat can be, like, next to me over here. Because there's nothing really happening. I think there might be a way for me to, like, like grab chat from YouTube and Twitch and then just put it as, like, one. <laughs> yeah, you know, a little more bloat. I agree. I think. Why not? All right, so Psycho goes into the graveyard. If if you got if this is your first night watching the bug lock, these are all the bugs that we've killed over the course of this. So it's almost an entire box. Most of these were like in the first few hours of the game. But we kind of gradually figured it out how to not die. Sort of. Alright, let's go back to leveling our shinies. Is everybody healed up though? Are we like... We need to craft Pokeballs. Craft Great Balls. The symbol is a radio tower lodged into a pentagram with a splattered human heart on top of the logo. <laughs> that sounds edgy. That sounds very intense. Did you say this was a Pokemon fan project or is this this is a separate thing? Well, that was on YouTube, but yeah. <laughs> I think Porphy is feeling like defensive that there's other people on YouTube right now. I think that's actually what's happening. I'll never forget you, Porphy. Don't worry. You've you've you're too you've been here too long. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, there's nothing. You, you guys are not missing anything, I promise. <laughs> How am I doing on the shame and reach search? Um, fine. I've kept up with it. I think I need like two more days. And I'll be to the next step. Like step three. There we go. We got Scorpio. Yeah. Yeah. What should we name the Scorpio? That is the question. I d I'm gonna just assume that that alpha is not catchable right now, so we're just gonna ignore him.
<laughs> Bandy's pulling out alt accounts. Oh, oh no. There's a Radio Tower Legends game. Porphy, you are wel always welcome to stick around. Who's Bandy? I don't know. Who? I don't really call her that anymore, so I, 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 I remember now. I'm now I remember, but like, yeah. Name the Scorpy alt account. <laughs> okay, that's that's a good name. That's a good name. Ah, <laughs> I'm a chop, you bastard. I'm just trying to farm like a little bit of XP. But I can't throw. Okay. Whoa, buddy, back up. No, thank you. I don't remember so many of these spawns being so samey, like... Like, this whole shore is really just Machops and Scorpies, like... What a live stream. I... I agree, Porphy. That's... that's how I feel. Any... <laughs> After every night, we wrap up a stream and I'm like... I slap my knee and I go, wow, what a live stream. You think Whiskey and Bandy might be sisters? What do I call her? <laughs> what? I don't know what you guys are talking about. In Chapter 2, Gunshot Veins, there's a document in the Henry P Pridlam's cabin with a diagram of an animatronic. OG, you might want to get on YouTube right now, because uh, this conversation is moving toward animatronic talk. <laughs> Why is there no... <laughs> Blitz! Why is there a giant paragraph of what Pikmin tastes like on Twitch? Where did that come from? I didn't even know you could put that much text in a, in a Twitch comment. <laughs> that... God, that was scary. I don't technically call you by government name. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so lost. Oh, that's funny. Good one. You got me, Blitz. You win it. You win this round. Didn't, did not expect that. You guys are really testing my limits of like, how many, how many different chats can I actively pay attention to? Even if they're moving like relatively slow. <laughs> Porphy, you, you already donate your time. You're, you're fine. You're, you're the, uh, much appreciated. Flowers for Bandrew. <laughs> Should I read this? It's a lot of text. Hang on. That's fine, Porphy. We all are. It's, it's alright. Don't worry about it. Hold on. Let me, let me start a battle. That, that's a good time to read, right? During a fight? Oh, it's the last burn reform we need. Guys, we, all right. 
Wait, did we name the Scorpy? I I wasn't. I I might have missed if there were any actually good names for that. Alright, Blitz says, what I think all Pikmin taste like. Red Pikmin, Carolina Reaper. Yellow Pikmin, battery acid. Blue Pikmin, water, with a hint of battery acid. White Pikmin, poison or a human liver. What? Purple Pikmin, lean. Blitz, I don't know if lean is a is a flavor, but. Rock Pikmin, lead. Don't. Don't taste lead. Don't taste it. I really hope you don't know what that tastes. Wing Pikmin flies from the fly swatter. Ice Pikmin, ice with a human liver inside of it. <laughs> okay. Glow Pikmin, stomach acid or just regular acid. Honestly, I think I could see it. I, those. I'm gonna give that list like a 70% realistic accuracy. The human liver is a little concerning because why does why does it have to be human? If I had money equal to a credit card number, how much would would I have? Well, let me check. I would have exactly zero 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 one dollars. Oh, alt account. That's right, alt account. I'm gonna wait till I'm actually back in the box before <laughs> double checking the names. You did not lose power. I that no. There's too many people losing power right now. That's a meme. You joshing me. Nice. What? Excuse me. Make sure you flame him. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What? That would be so mean to like, make fun of somebody that lost power in a very like specific, personalized way. Like why would you kick someone while, when they're down? That's insane. Don't do that. No, it's not that no one would believe you that I mean. It's more that, like, my my sarcasm meter broke, and it's like I I think I'm making a sarcastic joke, and then it, it you know it doesn't doesn't land. That's that's more of the issue, I think. Sarcasm very dangerous. It's a very dangerous weapon, especially on the internet. Yeah, see, MDK, that's a, <laughs> that's a, that's what I'm worried about. I need to keep in mind that some of you guys just don't, you just don't read that stuff. You can't pick up on it. No, Loki, this isn't a boss fight, is it? You mean the, you mean the Arcanine, right? The big one. Hmm. Ba 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 ba. She's a scuba diver. I don't remember this character. This... This chick was in this game this whole time? Polina the, the diver? With her goggles and everything? I don't... I don't remember. The game has you wandering around a city hill. 
city while ex surviving monster traps and alluring frequencies. Each chapter has you focusing around a certain area of the city as you approach the radio tower. This sounds like a big, complicated project that would need many, many manpower. Paulina, f yes, for Mario. Yeah, this is where, this is the original home of Hasui and Growlithe. Which, for some reason, they thought they needed to release during the the tour this year. Except they didn't actually release all of the Arceus Pokemon. I just realized I was hitting the same response over and over again. Appalachia. You have a Shundo, Hisui, and Growlithe Castrophia? That's awesome. That's I'm so jealous. The only Shundo Gen 1 Pokemon. I mean, maybe Hisui and Growlithe isn't fair to call Gen 1, but. I don't have any Shundo bugs yet. And I only have. No, that's not true. I have a Shundo Pikachu, too. I have two two Gen 1 Pokemon. Pikachu in that championship like coat. <laughs> Row. Row. Alright, what are we doing? What are we doing? God, the environments in this game are so bare bones. It's crazy. There's the infamous water. That's still probably the worst looking part of this game. Like, you can almost forgive bland, like, detailless terrain. But this, that textured water is pretty bad. Like, we could have, we could have dodged so many. So many hate screenshots. Like, it would almost have been better to make it, like, like have no texture. Just, like, a solid color with a little bit of, like, gradient. Where are we going? Oh, all the way back over there. I'm just gonna teleport. Forget that. Screw that. There's a cutie fly in the car? Uncle Goaty is a goat. Hi, welcome Uncle Goaty. We do accept goats here. As long as you... Uh, as long as you know that I am the goat. You are a goat. But I am the goat. So, as long as that's understood... That is fine. You can hang out. As long as you pay your taxes. <laughs> right. Alright. I think the rule is I have to find at least one shiny per stream. I think... Actually, I don't think we did that for the first two days, but... I think now it... It should be a rule. That was a good shot. Wasn't enough though. <laughs> Ow, stop. Stop. Oh, I gotta catch some Boweasel for what's his face. 
in case we find a big one. So close. I'm leaving. Leave me alone. Monkey. Monkey. I kind of have like PTSD being in this area of the map. Just because of the sheer amount of like resets I had to do to finish all the APOM quests. Because it turns out he's really rare in trees. He you have to find like 15 of them in trees and it's like a 10% spawn rate. Maybe less than that even. Oh, I missed Porphy leaving. Goodbye, Porphy. Bronzong. There's a monster that made a shrine to his wife and accidentally burns his flesh due to a misfire of his gun leg. It, this guy's a gun leg? That's cool. It vaporizes his cabin. In his last agonized moments, he crawls on his four spindly legs to his wife's corpse and hugs it and burns with it in his nurturing grasp. I can see why you're the writer for the, for this team. I I think you I think you do have the tone down. God, like. Oh, is it a 3D game? Okay. I agree with Happy Doggo. That is emotional. That succeeds in evoking emotion for sure. We just played a game, you know, FF7. That guy has a gun and arm. And he also lost his wife. But it wasn't that sad. Like, Barrett's whole story seems pretty tame. Like, if we really think about it. Blitz criticizing stories because they don't have enough human liver mentions in them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, need more human liver. Otherwise, 8 out of 10. What level is this Geodude? Nope, we're running. I've learned that being like even 10 levels above a Pokemon is not enough to be safe. In fighting one that if it's a type if it's got type advantage on you I have learned oh I'm not supposed to go this far Right. The big marker on the map. That's what I should be looking at. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay, Loki. Noted. Alright, Volo. What's up? What are we doing? He has three normal six foot long legs and one that when he was a human, he was a hunter with his lovely wife and uses his gun as a crutch. That's so intense. Not trophy hunting, by the way. We eat it all. We're... Oh, I thought we were talking about games. 
Right. I forgot that, like, trophy hunting is something people actually do. <laughs> like, in real life. Now people just go to a mall to trophy hunt. You know, you used to have to show off chunks of animals and bones and stuff, but now you just buy pieces of plastic and that's enough. <laughs> Not you giving credit to it. All caps, gross, deplorable, horrible. But actually, though, there is a, a time and place. <laughs> we love we love contextualizing things. This another NBC I don't remember. That's the curse of being educated. Is like you re you realize <laughs> things are not simple. They're not that simple. Some things are, to be fair. Some things are are simple. Quesadilla, are we close to affiliate? I think the last time I checked, we were at like 2.5 average viewers on Twitch. But I think because I streamed so many hours at the like the two ish mark it's gonna take many more hours of like three or above for that average to like balance out so i i think yeah we're probably we're, we'll get there <laughs> we'll get there eventually <laughs> it'll be fine oh this is the dust clops mission Thank you, Quesadilla. Yeah, no, I think I well, it's inevitable. I think like we'll we'll get to it, and if I really need to, I can. I could recruit some people, you know, to just make sure. Morgan, hey, am I going to New York Fest? Yes, yes, I am. At least for Sunday. My actual um, plans for the rest of the weekend are very up in the air right now. Because that's on 4th of July weekend, which is really complicated for me. But, like, Sunday for sure. Oh, you're going to be there Saturday. Okay. I mean, my plan, basically, because there's, there's other people that have been asking me if I'm going to be there and where. And the last, when we went last year, we basically tried to meet up with people especially for like if if there's like lucky trades and stuff that are pending there's uh god what's the name of it bryant it's bryant park is like the good it's like a good meeting spot slash like grind spot for the game for the people that have like the city ticket so i'll probably be there i just don't know what time But those city days are almost better than, like, the... Like, I think we did better catching outside of the actual, like, event park itself. You have city tickets for Sunday? Okay. Okay, cool. Loki, you can't fast catch? But Loki, did you actually use the AR stuff? <laughs> the park was boring and annoying. No, I mean, the city was objectively, like, a more comfortable experience. Because the park had some, like... I'm, I'm hoping that there's less construction and stuff going on. If they can just clean up that, like, choke point and then... I don't know, distribute the biomes in a different way this time. I I think they could make it a little bit better, but yeah, the city is just better. Uh, we got to find a dust clops. Yeah, I was kind of surprised too, because they, they kept changing the cities. 
Um, I mean, it really was only Chicago that they did multiple times. And I just assumed that was because they didn't, you know, they wanted to... They didn't know what those events were going to be long term. But I thought now that they had a formula, I just figured they would want to change it every year. But, like, they probably got a good deal in New York. I bet they know a guy. And it's probably just easier to, like, copy and paste the same setup and rehire all the same people. I hope that they they do branch out more, though. I, like, if I'm going to travel for events, I would rather do that in new new areas. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think getting a tour in Florida is inevitable. Like, they need to do one of the tours in Florida during winter. It'd be the perfect time to be in Florida. Remember when Umbrella attacked the people in front of us? <laughs> oh god, I wish I had been recording that, yeah. I only made- I, we caught the aftermath, but yeah, the wind destroyed an umbrella at one of the tables during GoFest. That could have been a problem. You went to New York last year, a week after GoFest ended. You already had it booked. Oh, that's that sucks. I mean, if you if you were there a week after, you could have played global, but it's not quite the same. Bum -bum. Yeah, probably something like Orlando, but. I mean, if, if their goal is to do it at, like, well-known, famous cities, like, I could see them doing Miami, maybe. Uh, but, I, yeah, I don't know about, I don't know about Orlando's parks, or Miami, for that matter. <laughs> Key West. If they tried to do a GoFest in Key West, or a tour, or whatever... There's actually a pretty decent chance that that would turn into another, like, Firefest. Like, Key West is so small and isolated. Like, trying to fit, like, a ton of people down there could, could cause, like, legitimate issues. That place tiny. Key West is, like, cool. It's, it is cool, though. It's worth seeing once. <laughs> Miami isn't friendly. Well, yeah, I mean, don't do not do it in, like, Miami Beach or downtown Miami. Or, but, like, I think in that area, like, they could do a, um... They could do, like, a Coral Gables Go Fest. <laughs> Maybe. Somewhere that's just, like, Miami adjacent. But or Orlando might be the more likely pick if they ever do. Just because Orlando is bigger and more spread out and probably would be able to accommodate that. Like, you already have so many theme parks and things that, like... Uh, I have to do this dust clops thing and I'm scared to do it because I don't know if I have high enough level Pokemon. First of all, is my team healed up enough to... Yeah, okay. We try. We give it a shot. Dallas, Texas would be crazy. <laughs> what do you mean? Dallas, Texas was crazy. Uh, go fast, but it's 100% at the airport. Every habitat is a different terminal. Because there, there's, what, six of them? Like, that would be so fun. <laughs> Alright, guys, get in the shuttle! Get in the shuttle! <laughs> Go to the Terminal 6! That would be so fun. Nobody knows. Unless you've been to the Dallas airport. 
<laughs> it's really not. It's... I'm laughing, I'm laughing through pain. Um, it's really not even funny. But it's very real. That's a, that's a real thing. <laughs> Stop talking, Loki. <laughs> uh, what is happening? No, happy doggo. I'm not. I'm not ignoring you, but we there's there's some very important discussion about um, summer potential summer plans happening. I I'm going to read all of what Bronzong is is writing though, because he's I think he's spoiling his entire game to the chat. Oh, we're getting the good song. This is like the bedroom song. And I mean that because it's like a good like song to, you know, study in your bedroom too. Oh, Bandy has to go. Bedroom song? I'm not stealing a gimmick. No, I'm talking about like studying. Alright, good night, Bandy. Good luck tomorrow. Opening is the worst. But not as bad as closing, maybe? I don't know. Depends on the job. Alright, Bronzong, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch up on your story here in a second. Once I because we, ha I have to wait for nighttime in this game, basically. Because we have to catch a Dusclops, so I'm gonna have to sit for a minute. Don't let the goblins, the goblins. Coming out on 2025. Niantic should let you exchange 57 fast TMs for something. <laughs> Dude, I throw I, the amount of TMs I just toss is crazy. If I'm ever running out of inventory space, I, I, I forget to even check them. So like maybe once every three months, I'll look at my TMs and be like, why do I have 110 of these? I'm never gonna use that many. And then I and then suddenly I have backspace again. Alright, can we <laughs> I agree, OG. I think I think they owe you at this point. Oh, we're looking for a dude. We're looking for a guy. I'm running out of Pokeballs, though, so... Let's make all great balls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mr. Streamer Man, do you have a Pokemon Go Master Ball? Yes, I have two. Well, I had two. Um, but I used one finally on a Galar Articuno. Because that was the last one I needed. Alright, I need to... I have to make space in my inventory. There's too much stuff. Smoke bombs. What can I toss?
mushroom cake. Oh, for drawing dragon Pokemon. Okay. Eh, I really don't want to get rid of anything, to be honest. Toss. Yeah, I... <laughs> Toss the shiny charm, sure. Yeah, 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 that's a good idea. I have heard that, yeah, Niantic support loves giving away free raid passes. Like, you could, like, sprain your ankle playing the game and, like, submit that as a complaint and they probably would send you a, a free raid pass. Don't take my word for it, though. I don't, I don't actually know that for sure, but it just feels true. Use the tent at the base camp. It's not there yet. We <laughs> haven't unlocked the base camp. Dude, where are the Pokemon? I thought there was supposed to be Pokemon out here. All right, Bronzong, uh, we'll be here for at least like another hour, probably. <laughs> May you broke your leg? Or did you contact them? They might give you two. They might give you two raid passes. Or, even better, they might give you a free remote raid pass, which would be wild. That was one of the meanest April Fool's Day's videos that I fell for. Like, I was just scrolling and it was like... The, the, the weekly free remote raid pass is in the shop. And I was like, what? Legitimately got excited for two seconds. And then I was like, oh yeah, no. They would never do that. Hey, Gia, what's up? <laughs> did you, do, wait, did you see that same one? That's funny. Yeah, let us, let us know how that email goes. Um, Niantic's really eager to keep people happy right now. I think, I think they may be more willing than usual to, to do favors. Oh my god, I still need... Good night, Loki, and you've reminded me that we still haven't named any of the new bugs that we caught, because I just keep forgetting... I just forgot. Oh, here's the guy. I think. Right? Chankla. I don't know what that means, but uh, I'll do it, Loki. I'll do it. <laughs> I wish Pokemon- I wish the Pokemon company was fun enough to do stuff like that. Oh no. Oh, this could be bad. This is a high level chat hot and all my bugs are not in a good spot to deal with this. Except that he just... Okay. <laughs> okay, we win. Never mind. Ooh, never mind. We're fine. He didn't even attack, so... Whoops. Sorry, chat top. Oh. Oh, happy... I thought you were gonna say that, like, World of Tanks played a joke on you, and I was like, that's so mean. Could you imagine if, um, free-to-play games did that? Oh, you got 10 free pulls! Just kidding, April Fools. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that was all we had to do to get the camp? Alright, easy. Since last year, they started locking GoFest mythicals completely behind a paywall. Yeah, they really have. Yeah, that used to just be part of, like, the fun of the event. I think what they'll probably do is, like, if it's the first time the mythical's out, they'll, that'll just be free. But, yeah, the shiny ones are always going to be locked. I mean, they gave away Mew for free, but that was part of a... 
Wasn't that like only for certain people? I, I don't remember. It's been too long. Uh, what now? Okay, now we sleep. We, we make it nighttime. And then we, we pray that Dusclops is something we can actually catch. Because if not... Oh, let's name the bugs. That's, that's literally one of the rules of the Nuzlocke, is we have to do that, so. We caught a Scorupi. Scorupi? This one's alt account. But then the Burmy, I don't know. I, I don't know if anyone had a, a name for that. The yellow Burmy. Chonkla is a sandal flip-flop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's why Loki picked that. Right. No, that, that checks out. No, that makes sense. Dude, where do I put my teams? I need a slot for my named Pokemon. Oh, I normally, I keep him here, but... Right, 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 right. Okay. Spare parts? Okay. Oh, wait. We already have two of these that are named... Oh, no, it was the red Burmy. Yeah, this is it. Nah, Blitz. Nah, nah, Happy Doggo beat you to it. <laughs> Happy Doggo gets name. Okay. I need to make sure these are like... Blitz, do you want to name one of these um, Alpha Wurmples? Because I'm probably going to end up using those later. <laughs> you hate them. Okay. Okay, well that That was your that was your chance. Okay, I think those are the only two bugs we've caught. Ooh yeah. Yeah, you might want to be careful about getting support to look at your account if you've have ever if you've ever flown before. But I get it. I mean, for people that don't have any way to go anywhere or travel for the game, it's it's rough. Like, what do you, what can you do? I think I would, per if I was in that situation, I think I just would not be willing to invest time into into the game if I if I really just didn't have a way to. Like, if I was younger, if I came out before I had like a driver's license or the ability to just like go to a park on my own, I I don't I. Don't think I would have played Pokemon Go at all. Can I just catch any Dusclops, or is it, does it have to be the big scary one? See, Blitz, I think we can do better. <laughs> I think we can do better than giving you the trash, Burmy. I don't know if that really suits you. <laughs> During COVID, you... That's so funny. That, yeah, that sounds very, um, very exploitable. Dude, whenever you catch a new Pokemon in this game, it sounds like a, a shiny. It's, I hate it. <laughs> Pokemon Go came right before freshman year of high school. You made your mom drive you all around. Yeah, that's see, that's what I could not have done. 
And that's kind of why I stopped. Like, a lot of the people that I knew... Um, when it, like, my in real life friends and family, like, were playing it for the first couple months. And so, like, it, it didn't take any convincing to, like, oh yeah, let's all go downtown, or let's all, like, it was really fun. But, s slowly but surely, you know, not everybody in that group played games. They, they were just sort of like, oh, this is a fun thing to do out, but then, you know, you run out of new Pokemon to catch and things to do, and then people drop, drop interest. But in my mind, I was like, but we're not level 40 yet. <laughs> but, but the XP. So I ended up being like the only one still playing well after everyone else stopped. But there's no way I would have been asking people, like if I couldn't drive, I would have never been able to be like, hey, can you take me to the park? <laughs> Especially nowadays, because, like, there's so many events every single weekend, it feels like. There's something to show up for. Whether it's, like, a raid day or a community day or something. Where is this? Oh, yeah, no, he... I guess he just wants any Dusclops. I thought there was an alpha one. Although... Catching the alpha is going to be really annoying, so. If you shiny on a fairy type, I will shiny on a bug. I mean, I'm not going to stop the progress to look for shinies, but we might have to do that if we end up... If we team wipe... And we need uh, fairy types, I might be willing to hunt for some fairies. Too far. No, Dusclops. Bad. Bad. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright. We wait. We wait. We wait till he loses aggro, and then we go in. Yeah, no, they picked a good Pokemon for this quest, because Dusclops is actually intimidating. Is there a fairy bug? I think, uh, yeah. Isn't, um, Cutie Fly? Oops. I think Cutie Fly's fairy. I'm not super familiar with that gen, but I should be. Now that it's been in Pokemon Go. Dude, how are they hitting me from this far away? I don't understand. I am lost. He's look it's his it's because his eye is so huge. He can see me from like 400 feet away. <laughs> what? What is that? Oh, that's just the Drifloom. Okay. Just one Dusclops, please. Yes! Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Now we go. Now we leave. Dusclops is an actual black hole Pokemon? No, we're not entering the ecosystem, because there's... This is, like, prehistoric... Well, it's not pre... It's pre-modern. There's plenty of Pokemon. Don't worry about it. Oh, I forgot to dump my storage off. <laughs> it just absorbs everything and nothing comes back. I'm surprised my Pokeballs even make contact with it. I am so excited for Legend ZA, because I feel like the amount of creative stuff they could do... Like, imagine if if those facts about Pokemon actually played into... Um, 
you know, how you had to go about catching these Pokemon. Because you can catch almost every Pokemon in this game the same way. But if there were special conditions, like, oh yeah, Dusclops, is, he's just going to absorb the Pokeball. So you're going to need to do, like, this number of steps to actually get him properly. Or maybe... Or maybe since he's a black hole, maybe, like, even if you miss a Pokeball, it just, it, it homes in on him. Because <laughs> cause he's got that field around him. Stuff like that. That would be fun. Oil up for the shinies? No. Nah, that's too messy. Why is he getting a Dusclops for cooking? <laughs> I'm so confused. Alright, we can get our water mount though. That's a, that's a big deal. That's huge. They're probably gonna make me fight somebody for it, but... Wait, hang on, I gotta catch this EV for someone in town. Nice. Let's go for the single YOLO shot on... Nope. That did not work. They are going to make me fight him. I bet. Yeah, wait, Bron Bronzong, what are you eating? <laughs> Sudowoto would spin and smack the ball. That's that's your fantasy game. Ah, uh, yeah. I watched a video that revealed some details about this game I wasn't aware of, and Sudowoto had one where he'll only he'll only pretend to be a tree if he knows that you're looking at him. That he'll actually be like pretty relaxed in the wild. Until until he knows you're around and then he'll pretend to be a tree. So if you sneak up on one, he's just chilling. He's not doing his like mimicry. This could be bad. Because I think we're going to have to fight him, right? Just like we had to fight the bear. Or not? Or he's chill. He's just fine. He's yeah. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> no fight. I'm still getting jump scared by the name Bug Hole. That's I'm not reading that right. Every time it flashes across the screen. That's our name, by the way. That was not my idea. The Dusclops. Oh, God. Oh, okay, okay. Nothing is better than having to explain a joke. And also that joke being from like five minutes ago. <laughs> 
but I appreciate it anyway. Uh oh, I think we might still have a battle after all. Yep. Gengar. Hey. She's just stealing my my comp. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you call those wigs that were on on those old American and British men, but that's definitely what they're going for there. Powdered wigs, maybe? We didn't have to fight them. They just robbed us and left us alone. Good for... <laughs> what a relief. There's so much about this game. I don't even remember a Growlithe getting kidnapped at all. Catastrophe. Did something happened to you in Pogo? Oh, really? Ooh, I wonder if they're rolling that out. Wait, are you... are you in the States? I don't know if they rolled that out by region or if there was just random accounts that had it. Interesting. In Mexico. Oh, okay. Wait, if you're in Mexico, do you have the, um... I think you have... So, I, I have all the Vivian patterns, but I don't have anyone that's, like, actively playing in Mexico and sending postcards, so... That, we might, we might need to, um... figure something out. <laughs> that... Because I, I, I feel like it's it was so hard to find people that play in Mexico. Did you travel? You can cross lines that have... Oh, maybe that could be an OG? Yes, Sebastian. This is um, a Switch game. This came out... This is a couple years old. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, oh, he's gonna be mad. Actually, I don't think I don't think Sfeel can aggro. I think he's too chill for that. Your boyfriend got the update last week, and he still has it. That's weird. I don't know, yeah, I don't know if anyone in the U.S. has it, if it's a regional thing or if it's just a random account thing. Okay, hold on, I gotta, I gotta dump my inventory off. My storage is maxed out. <laughs> the, I, the lighting or something on them is definitely off. Like, I like the idea that... I'm glad that they're willing to rework it, but, like, why do they look so scary? Alright, that should give us some space. Um... Yeah... Alright.
Yeah, Sebastian, this, this game has a very nice stylized look to it. And it's really funny because back when it came out, people were really du like dunking on the graphics. And like, to be fair, there's parts of it, like the water doesn't look great and things like that. But compared to how bad um, Scarlet and Violet looked overall, and the fact that Scarlet and Violet just didn't have as much person, like, it didn't have as much of like a consistent art style compared to this. So this looks so much better in hindsight. <laughs> you restarted the game and you got it back? That's funny. Um, Bronzong, I, I will check. If you're dropping jokes, I gotta know what they are. I'll catch up in a moment. Is there? There is a side quest here. That's what I'm looking for. It's either that or the ghost fish likes eating ghosts. Name a bug hornet next time. I'll try to remember that. Dog napping arson edition. <laughs> I, I I see I now I yeah, right. That joke was for the dog getting kidnapped, got it. Aether Bolt. Yeah, the sleeping on your arms, don't do that. Me fully knowing that nobody can really control that. That's happened to me. I'll never forget waking up for the first time with like my having no feeling in my arm whatsoever. That was pretty terrifying. And having to like feel the blood rush back into it. It's like, how long did I have that pinned? How long can your, can you have like a leg or arm be asleep before it's like an actual like health problem? That's what I wonder when that happens. That's when you pretend someone else is there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, dang. I really messed up. Yeah, you... <laughs> dang. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I don't know. I just feel like you should probably have blood in your... In, in your extremities. I think that's probably like necessary for them to function and so the thought that you can just like fall asleep on on something the wrong way and it just cuts off circulation it's like terrifying yeah anyway fun things to think about before bed All right, I'm gonna go back. I'm a little bit afraid to progress. Considering the next area is like mostly fire types. So we're gonna hide. <laughs> Gia is laying on her arm right now. You go wild. Can I really not evolve Psyduck yet? Like, come on. I can also go back to the other maps because like we have, yeah, when does this guy evolve? Jeez. I don't need a, like a water stone or something for him, do I? I feel like having Golduck is gonna be very important for this next boss. And we still haven't gotten a shiny yet. And I still haven't... 
We still haven't gotten that, that pony to quest either. Research on Octillery. No, I don't want to go near an Octillery. Too dangerous. That Pokemon, too strong. He killed many bug. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good. Yes. Good night, Porphy. <laughs> you got the pogo itch at 2 a.m. I there was a time in my life where I really I played most of Pokemon Go really late at night. Like at least once a week there would be sessions where I'd be like downtown at like past midnight. If there is something worth grinding. Dry, uh, both. No, there was a couple times I got, I got stopped, but never actually got in trouble or anything. Just cause they were just like, what are you doing? <laughs> but never while walking around. Like I could be downtown walking around and I never got any, any, uh, nobody was ever suspicious. I mean, downtown's pretty well lit, and like, it's just, there's just so, there's nobody around. So, I feel like they just weren't that concerned about it. Naples is Naples. Evangeline, hey, what's up? Welcome. You haven't missed much. Well, you did miss a bit of some YouTube storytelling, but technically you could pull up, you know, you really wanted to hear all of it. Somebody was leaking their entire um, indie game script for a horror game, and it sounds pretty cool. Mine's just a stupid bar town. I can't walk around without someone being weird. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, Naples like shuts down really early, and there, there's just nobody around at all. So it's it's like literally like playing in an empty level, but it's also safe for that reason. But part of that too was just because I, I used to be on an even more nocturnal schedule than I was. So like my prime time would be like, go get food right before everything closes at like eight or nine. And then like go downtown for a few hours, like listen to a podcast. If I had work to do, I could like do, do some of it on a laptop at like a Starbucks so that I could be on a poker stop. <laughs> Came in to say hi watching the F1 practice run. Oh. Is that going on? Okay. Gia, you've been to Naples before? I feel like this... I feel like nobody comes down here. <laughs> I feel like this is like... Some people don't even know Naples exists. Alright, let's, let's track some side quest stuff. I just need an excuse to go to like other... other maps. Oh, this. Yes. I just want to get this off my my list. Let's just go hunt like a ton of buizels. <laughs> There's not that many lizards. There's not that many lizards, OG. Yeah, no. You'll you'll be fine. Oh, we can actually go to these other places now? Crazy. I can swim. Yes, collect the lizards. <laughs> I haven't done that in a long time, but catching lizards used to be fun. That used to be a fun thing. 
and then getting in trouble because lizards are dirty. Ew, don't touch those. Which they probably are, to be fair, but like, they're just little guys. Yeah, that that's wild, uh, and I can't imagine not just having lizards around as a kid. I just thought that was like a default spawn for everybody. But I didn't realize, like, oh no, that's that's a south thing. Yeah, they don't do too well in other places. I've only caught two boozles ever? Well, no wonder. We do have the big lizards. One time a lizard appeared out of nowhere in my room. I thought it was a toy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, that would scare you. Yeah. Used to catch salamanders as a kid, and one morning a huge brown bear scared me out of the woods. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> I was about to say we don't have bears down here, but we absolutely do have bears sometimes. Not as commonly as, like, up north, but... <laughs> I should dye the hair... I'm good. I don't need to dye my hair red. I don't think that would work very well. My hair's too dark. I'd have to, like, bleach it first. But the, yeah, iguanas, we, uh, there are wild iguanas here that I've seen. I've been seeing them more lately in a certain park. There, I, I got some footage of them when I did that Monster Hunter video. I got some shots of the iguana because there's a, one of the early like low level monsters you fight is literally just a giant iguana. So I was like, this is perfect. They couldn't have asked me to make this video at a more perfect time. I, I have the tools and resources. <laughs> I have the real iguanas on hand. Bronze on you used to cut lizard's tails off. That's terrifying. When you were three? There's a lizard in your room and you can't find him? I- hey, I, personally, what you- You learn to embrace the room lizards down here. Except- in this in this like office area, like it's it wasn't a normal lizard. It was a uh, it was a gecko. I had a room gecko for a long time that would just show up, but I I loved him because he would eat stuff. He he would eat bugs. All right, buddy. Leave. I'm no. Leave me alone. There is a lack of weasel here. Yeah, he would just show up! Um... <laughs> I'll have to dig. I have more than just pictures. I have a video of him. So I, I have like a big TV monitor that I, I run like a second... Uh, my old computer off of because I still organize music and stuff with that. Um, and I was playing Poke Clicker at the time too. So I was running that on that screen. And he saw the mouse moving around on it. He was just on my wall. And he jumped on the screen thinking that the mouse was like a fly or something. Like, he crawled up to it. Like, he went for it. <laughs> I don't know where he is now. I think the fact that he was trying to eat the mouse cursor off of my monitor. But it's not a monitor on my desk. It's like, it was like attached to the wall. I wasn't going to try to like, catch him and keep him though. But maybe he was hungry, so I should have left, like, Cheez-Its out for him or something. I don't think he would like Cheez-Its, but that's uh, that's pretty much all I could offer him. He would kind of scare me, because he would appear, like, out of the corner of my eye. Um, 
And that that never feels good because I always just assume I'm always on guard for like cockroaches or whatever. But having a gecko just hanging out, I was like, this is fine. You can stay. <laughs> I don't like, I don't know what I would give it. I mean, maybe maybe a gecko would eat like beef jerky. I could probably hook him up with that if he ever comes back. He was just, yeah, he was a big fan. He hunted me down. He found where I stream. Yeah. Geckos, yep, but this one keeps pooping on the walls and he doesn't even eat the bugs. <laughs> yeah, get rid of him. Useless lizard. Bad. Do, do good lizard stuff. Alright, I don't think we're gonna find... Alright, the Buizel mission is a bust, so we're gonna... Yeah. Mikul? Wait, I'm sorry Mikul. Did I not contact you? I thought I did. I thought I sent you a message. Why are those my only two options? That, yeah, Bronzong, that I understand. That That's what bothers me about the gecko, is just like, the jump scares. It got better though over time. I got less, like, sensitive to it. God, now I feel bad, because like, I haven't seen him in so long. I hope he, I hope he is okay. Also, just so, if anyone's curious, I think we're... The goal is to play Unite tomorrow. We'll be playing Pokemon Unite on Friday. And we'll probably start that, like... Early-ish? Like, maybe, like, around 9 or 10 Eastern Time? Probably closer to 10, knowing, knowing me and my schedule. And also, because I think we have... We have, like, a dinner thing I gotta go to, but... Unite stream tomorrow if anyone's if anyone's interested. We'll either just play f like a team of five in matchmaking, or we could do like a full lobby if, if people are free. No, he didn't look like he didn't look like a, a guy code insurance agent. Unfortunately. Yeah, no more deaths. Thankfully. What's a missile balloon? What did it, what? You just got a hundo wimpod? I bet they really tried to. I bet they really tried to make her happy. They're just little guys. They don't know. Well, I at least they probably bonded over it, you know? I'm sure that was very... <laughs> That's a story. You think you're noticing patterns in Pogo? Like, being able to predict hundos and stuff? That would be, that would be something. I love Pokemon Go, like, Urban Legends and stuff like that. <gasps> That's an Alpha Buizel. He has to accept that, right? There's no, he's not going to say that's too small. I think I remember when we were streaming this game when it came out, I remember someone telling me that there was an Alpha Buizel somewhere. And I was like, no, you're wrong. It's the Flots... the Flotzel. 
But maybe I was wrong. I don't... Like, I don't know if this is a static spawn or what, but... Makes you wonder if IVs are actually random. Hmm. Alright. I don't like that he did a lot of damage to me just now. Let's get Stinky Lettuce in there. That's not going to do anything. Yeah, good. Okay, it kind of did something, but we're fine. We're chilling. Dude, please. Oh, that's lame. Boring. Yeah, I'm ready, Bronzong. Hit me. He used Agile Style to rest? Oh, he's sleeping, so he should be easier to catch now. You got a shiny and a hundo wimpo. Wimpo? You got a wimpo? How did you find 98 wimpods? I feel like I... I mean, I wasn't out for very long, but I, I checked a few spawns and I went to a park for like... 30 minutes today? Are they that common? Alright, that's good to know. Maybe I should actually, like... It is a bug, after all. Maybe I should try. Let's see if I can get my, um, shiny Infernape again. First check. Also, we're about to check uh, the low pony too, because I might as well while I'm here. Yeah, it's not shiny. Dang, I was really, really, really expecting it to be. So sad. <laughs> but that that's literally what happened in my original save. I, I was like... I wasn't even streaming. I was just playing the game like in my free time. And I think I'd only been to this island like twice. And the third time, I was like, Oh, that, that's a red monkey. Is he always that red? No. The answer is no. Two hundred and two Wimpod. Dang. Oh, of course. No, I would never ask a man for his playtime. And I also won't reveal my playtime for games unless it's for a video. My playtime in um, Scarlet and Violet is getting really, really dumb, though. It's definitely surpassed, I think, my previous, like... I think the, the game that I put the most amount of hours into in, like, the last decade was Hyrule Warriors for the Switch. That was, like, my comfort end-of-night grind game for multiple years. <laughs> There's so, so many maps and, like, unlockables to get. 
I can't say I miss it though. I that definitely became like an exercise of just obsessive compulsion to finish a thing. Have friends guess how many hours you have in P5. That's a game. I mean, at least that makes sense. If they knew how the game worked, it's so understandable. Uh, Bronzong. It's a pretty. It's a pretty good one. It's not the best joke I've ever read, but I'm not gonna read it out loud just in case. <laughs> just in case. Can't be too safe. All right, let's do our singular YOLO throw of a feather ball. And we missed. There we go. That's not gonna hit. Yeah. Yep. All right, too low punny we go. Not shiny. They don't and they're always chalked. Is that actively going up though, or, or is that like a fixed, like you're done with P5? Or is there still stuff you're trying to do? Because is that just like how long it took to platinum it, or do you have other goals? I guess that's my question. Actively going up. Jeez. I would definitely play those games up until I, like, got all the trophies and stuff. Although, so, uh, Trying to get all- okay. Do you do that- like, do you have to do that with guides? Because I, I remember playing P P5 and thinking, like, I'm pretty sure... Because now, like, when you do a New Game Plus, you don't have to worry about leveling social stats. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I can do all of the confidant relationships, like, on my own. And I got really, really close to doing all of them, but I still ended up missing, like, one or two. And so I'm thinking, like, if I ever want to go in and actually 100% a Persona game, I might need to look up some kind of instruction <laughs> to, like... Because that felt so bad, to go through all that trouble and still not get a full Confidant run. Oh, the Thieves' Den stuff. Yeah. You know what I think it was? I think that game came out, and then like Final Fantasy VII Remake was close to it. Pokey coin giveaway? Um, yeah, I don't know. Thank you, Rat, for the sushi, by the way. Appreciate it. I love the aggressive reverb filter in this map, though. Or just in this game in general. The few with flying type moves. I can do that. Hold on a second. Hold on a moment. Easy. How high of a star ranking do you need to, like, finish the story? That's what I need to figure out. Seven? Okay. So I'm gonna have to do a lot, I'm gonna have to do a lot, a lot of like actual point grinding on Pokedex numbers. That's gonna be, maybe I'll do some of that off stream. And, like, I don't even mind doing that. Like, that's kind of what I miss doing, but... Doing that on stream? I don't know. 
I don't know if that's gonna be very exciting. And we got some other other games cooking, so. Oh, I can catch Magikarp now. Alright, in case the Alpha Buizel doesn't count, I'm gonna catch these two. Is this game better than Sword and Shield? I think so. <laughs> this game is... Yeah, similar to Pokemon Go, sure. And the fact that you can just... The fact that you can catch Pokemon faster in this game than you can in Pokemon Go is kind of funny, though. Then you can basically just Team Rocket your way through, uh... Like, mass outbreaks. That's fun. It's fun because you know, like, back then, like, in a modern Pokemon game, I think that would be considered unethical to, like, mass farm Pokemon. But, you know, it's it's the olden days. They didn't have laws. They don't have laws for the Pokemon, Batman. <laughs> uh, Tyler, you have an obscene amount of time put in. Me too. Me too. Actually, we could look. I don't even remember what my playtime is on my old save file, but I think... We're gonna dox playtime. We're gonna dox playtime on all my games. <laughs> oh my god, it's so much higher than I thought it was! I thought it was like 500-ish. I haven't actually looked at this in a long time. Ooh! <laughs> I mean, now I have to get that to a thousand. And now that has to go to a thousand. Okay, so Arceus is almost 500. But you have to, you have to keep in mind with Violet. I leave the game on. <laughs> like, I leave the game on and I just uh, refresh like raids. So that's not like active playtime. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> oh my god. Monster Hunter Rise is very fun too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, excuses. Listen, it's for videos. I'm I have plans, all right? There's stuff that I that has to be finished. And it's not even just the bug log or the bug uh the living bug decks, but there's other stuff too. Yeah, if anyone wants to add me on Switch, go crazy. How do I show my friend code? There it is. I'll 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 give you guys 10 seconds to grab that switch friend code. And I'm taking it off. <laughs> I'm taking it off screen. The smart ones will have screenshotted already. So. I, I don't, I mean, I really don't know what the value of having switch friends is. Like, I think it makes it easier to invite people in some cases. Or if we're playing, like, Mario Kart, which could happen. Could happen. Dude, Magikarp has the best Pokedex tasks. Getting to do 100 Splash. Pulling out a Magikarp in a fight against another Magikarp and just splashing each other back and forth. It's like one of the cutest things you can do in this game. And you get rewarded for it. <laughs> OG's posting like hieroglyphics in the chat. I don't, I don't understand what that means. I don't know, is there a cap for Switch Friends? There probably is. I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I would be close to it. Alright, I'll, I'll check my requests once I get back to the camp. Nice. 
I just, the, I love, I love catching Pokemon in this game. It's the fact that I can just throw a Pokeball and then just move on. I'll have one free space. Oh, maybe I should delete some friends. Don't see me. All right, hold on. I should get out of here before. I do anything goofy. Still no shiny. I'm I'm hesitant to end the stream until I can find one, but it's not like I've really been trying that hard. <laughs> Miley, you have 780 hours. Listen, it's an easy game to put lots of time into. Assuming you have ambitious goals. How am I going to be Giratina? I don't know. Uh, my plan is to invoke, which I already, I've already done this, but. You know, it's not that hard to get shinies in Arceus, so I'm going to, I'm going to allow myself to use shiny Pokemon. And so, so far I've gotten two that I can use. I have, <laughs> I have a Psyduck and a Haunter. So if I can keep this Haunter alive until that, that final battle, maybe, maybe we'll make it, but. Yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be rough. All right. Um, friend requests. I need to delete people. Like, I recognize a surprising amount of these names. Got Nowhere Nix on here. Nix... I think played Mario Kart with us at one point. I know this guy. I know this guy. I I don't I don't like the look that Yugi Ben is giving me. Uh that's We became friends 2 years ago. Bye-bye. I'm so sorry. If if you're watching this, I'll add you back. I promise. <laughs> That's what I tell people in Pogo, too. I'm like, it's no no offense. Nathan? Cheese Man? I kind of remember Anthony. Chef. With the blue Pikmin. Brayson. Haley. Celeste, I remember. Magikarp, I remember. Artie, Pebble. Like, I recognize someone. Who's this? Yoshi guy. Oh, Anthony? Yeah, we should delete it. We should delete Anthony. He hasn't been online in a while. <laughs> I wish you luck. Thank you, Satsu Satsujin. I, I'm hoping... Hoping that it will be doable. Alright, there's Gia's request. I'm surprised no one else nabbed it. I think maybe everybody else in the lobby... Already has me. Story of Seasons, Mario Kart. Man. Man, I remember when I used to play other games. But there's... Once you go down the Pokemon hole, there's just so much to do. It's crazy. I do have an itch. Like, every once... I think it's like every two or three years, I'll get an itch to play like a Harvest Moon kind of game. Story of Seasons, I spent a lot of time on, on the DS. That's why it's so easy, because there's no laws in Pokemon Land, so you, you can really just go there and do whatever you want. It's like Westworld. It's like Westworld, but... from your bedroom. But, I mean, the, the last few times I've had, like, a Harvest Moon itch, that usually just ends up resulting like oh i'll play stardew valley but like to play like a real console harvest moon i still have um that rune factory game that they they made but that that was kind of janky to be honest like i like rune factory i like that they have like combat and stuff in it but 
Man, those games are rough. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad because a, a modern day rune factory could be so cool. It could be so good, but I just don't. They the something wasn't there. I don't know what. Even like even the Wii one that they made. I think it was it might have been three or four that was on the Wii. Like that wasn't an that was a very small game. Like there wasn't a lot to do in it. Um, but I really liked it. Like, that was, that was a college game for me. I, I, that would be like the end of my night. And I like, the art style in it was good, too. I feel like the graphics in 5 was just like, what happened? Tyler, what's the, uh, wait, is there, did, did they already announce another Rune Factory? Did I miss that? Is that for Switch? Alright, buddy, you better accept my boozles. I caught like 30. <laughs> like, I, I caught a lot. Yeah, accept this. Alpha. Alpha, alpha. Yes! Wow, his flotation sack is huge! He said that. That's something Dorian just said. Dorian, I don't I don't think that's the flotation. I, I alright, anyway, we'll just Did you get any more friend requests? I sent it to the Discord. Discord? I thought I was inviting Switch people. Protect, oh, Project Dragon. Oh. So is it the same team? Is it a spinoff? It's not actually Japanese, like, it's not actually a Rune Factory game? Charbel, do you want another Pokemon Go shiny check? Okay. No, I, I, I'm one step ahead. <laughs> I'm one step ahead of you. Okay, that's cool though. That, honestly, they need to do a spinoff. I'm glad that that's the, the direction they're going. Also, they probably are going to have a hard time getting Rune Factory 6. Uh, it's probably going to be a hard sell for, for uh, investors. Because I'm just... I didn't look at the numbers. I'm going to assume 5 didn't do very well. And we have zero Wimpods. Nope, there's one. There's one Wimpod. Not shiny. Mantine, not shiny. I have a lot of these shinies already. Snorlax I'll catch just for the XLs. Me when I gen 1. You might get your wish this time, Charbel. Who knows? <laughs> Charbel but really puts their whole backbone into the wishing for shinies. It's so funny. All right, not. I have to make storage space. It's kind of nice seeing uh, Whalmer on the map again, though. It's been a while. All right, that's enough space. We're not done checking yet. Although the rest of the Pokemon here are all shinies that would not be very exciting to get. Sorry, I, I can't actually see my... Tiny! Tiny Diglett! Guys, what do we want to name Tiny Diglett? It has to have, like, Tiny in the name. I have, I have a whole method for naming fun-sized Pokemon. So, like, if we got a big Diglett, I would call it uh, Biglet or huge lit. Tig Tiglet's good, or mini mini dig. Yeah, mini dig. Tiny windy. No, it still has to. It has to maintain the Diglet uh, identity. That's so fun. 
It's actually not even my smallest diglet, but... Um... Alright, Charbol, you get it, because you're the one that even requested a shiny check. Mini dig. I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna do it as one word. Yeah. Yeah, tiny diglet. Woo. I'll probably be like... <laughs> I'm probably gonna delete a lot of my fun size Pokemon eventually, but I'm if I'm gonna keep any of them, it's gonna be my Gen 1s. You know, I mean, if I'm collecting... I've accepted the fact that I probably won't ever have, like, a full living shiny Dex, or... Even getting a full Pokedex is gonna be a challenge, but I, that I can probably finish. But I can definitely be a perfectionist about Gen 1. I think I can realistically get, like, a living... Hundo, shiny, lucky, fun size decks. <laughs> yeah, where, where are the tiny showcases? I agree. They they did one, I think when they uh, they released the feature in um. I don't know Japan or wherever Australia, New Zealand probably. They tested it with uh, Fomantis. There was a Fomantis Tiny competition, and then they never did another Tiny one ever again. Yeah, oh yeah, Miley. I think I did talk to the bridge guy, but... He didn't have anything to say. It was the guy on the bridge in the far back place, right? Oh, this guy wants Oran Berries? Very helpful, thank you. Let's check, I'll check him, I'll, I'll check him again though. Uh, Blitz, I'll check, um... Okay, he's not, he's not ready yet. Blitz, you're talking about the Switch one, right? Not Discord? Yeah, Bridge Guy is not... Let's check the the actual bulletin board inside, though. They know I'm doing a bug lock, and they're gatekeeping me from having an easy access to a shiny. They know what I'm trying to do. Yeah, there's nothing on here. Duh. <laughs> Let me actually look though, like maybe I picked it up and I just didn't notice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Wait, if it's six is it sixteen? If it's sixteen, then we have it. Is that it? Yeah, sixteen, seventeen. No. No, I guess not. I know somebody told me what number it was, and I don't I don't remember. Add a bit of two team. Oh, all right. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Why is Meatball not matching with me? Um Well, cuz Meatball's wearing the the, the hat of the male protagonist. <laughs> Which I don't want to wear. Listen, Meatball doesn't match me when I play FF7 either, so. I think it's fine. It's 19, huh? What am I trying to, wait, where am I even going now? Like. I'm basically just doing quests to give myself a reason to, like, go on these maps at all. Oh, I've never caught a Ponyta, no. <laughs> I've never even caught one, That is that why? <laughs> I don't think I have. That might... 
that that could be it. Alright, Blitz, I'll check. I'm gonna check the switch notifications, see if it came through. We will see before I get <laughs> Is this you, Blitz? <laughs> what the hell? Anyway. <laughs> That's not funny. You definitely changed your name for the stream. There's no way. I am the protagonist. Yes. <laughs> I'm now. La I'm not laughing, by the way. No. That's, that's your actual name all the time. Your profile says that? Okay. Okie dokie. Mm. Alright, we're going to catch one Ponyta and then that quest is going to pop up. That's how this is going to work. Yeah. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> we can evolve um, Psyduck. I'm doing it. I'm not wasting a second. We need him. He's going to be our key to getting through the uh, the volcano. I got to take him to the shop too and see if I can buy any moves for him. What a terrible shiny though. <laughs> like one of the worst. That's a cooked duck. That's what that is. Alright. Now. Now we will see. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Kaya. Do not tell Kaya. Crafty, what's the hunt? I'm actually just playing through the story, trying to beat it with uh, bug Pokemon. Which I've told is not realistic, especially for the last fight in the game. Which is why I'm also letting myself collect a shiny team. But it's still permadeath applies, so if I wipe... Then I have to reattempt the fight with a fresh team of everything. So I can't like reuse the shinies. So even though I'm not like doing the, the typical Nuzlocke thing where you like should start your whole game over and do everything from the beginning. It's close enough. <laughs> it's... I would actually be willing to restart the game if um if that opening cutscene wasn't like two hours long. Just to get to the back into gameplay. Oof. Yep, yep. I love that Miley finally cracked the code on this. A peculiar ponytail. Yeah, we just never caught one. Just to, we didn't even have to finish the the Dax entry or anything. Just catching one was it. Guys, start thinking of really good names for ponytails, because can I rate my Switch friends' names? No. No, that's me. I mean, that's you know, that's not fair to rank people's names. <laughs> oh wait. There he is. Stiff. Say no more, buddy. Mm 
I don't remember what I have to do for this, but... If I have to fight any ponies right here, then I'm scared. But we have Golduck. What am I talking about? We'll be fine. What a good shiny. That's such a good one. What a beautiful sound. <laughs> Are they gonna change the sound for ZA? Are we gonna get a new shiny sound? Oh? He's stubborn. Come on. There we go. Alright, what are we naming ponies though? I'm actually going to catch a few more before I leave, though, because I want to... Oh, Blitz, thank you. You're right. You're right. Loki claimed the name for the next Shiny. I forgot. Chonkla. Thank you, Blitz. I'm going to throw a few balls at this Rapidash, too, just for fun. The heck? Did it despawn? Isn't this where Rapidash is? I'm confused. so weird all right we just go back to the village then all right name the ponyta Start leveling this up too. Chonkla. All right, I need to take a picture of this so that I have evidence. I'm trying to do some on my phone. Oh, Wimpod? Nope. It's just. Forgot I had Pokemon Go open. Call you by your Switch name? No, that's not going to happen. Is that blurry? Yeah, we're good. Okay. We can send that to him. All righty then. Nice, it's a nice try, Bloods. I appreciate the effort. You took a screenshot of it too? Oh, okay. Thank you.
I know I'm gonna I know I'm gonna forget to send that later, so I just did it now. Alright. gotta start figuring out how to I gotta figure out the easy entries to farm but see the problem is I'm still trying to make progress on FF7 rebirth so like when I'm not streaming I'm usually just checking boxes in that game I can change my name back to Rose Blitz by April 15th it was a dare okay <laughs> I'm surprised Nintendo let you pick that name, to be to be perfectly honest. God, that took way too long to get that ponytail. Okay, let's um let's let's outfit Peep with uh, some good moves. I kind of have an itch to like hunt low punny more at some point too. I don't know when I'll do that, but <sighs> that would be so cool. All right, what would be really good to have? Okay, so he could learn fighting moves. Ice moves would be huge. Shadow claw. Dude, Golduck has, like, tech. This is crazy. I'm going to call mine. Oh, man, we're spending money on this. This is going to be an investment. Alright, that should be good. Aerial Ace? Yeah, yeah, let me grab it. I, I wasn't going to buy it just because I was like... For the coverage, I have a lot of bugs to cover flying, but... If I have him out and I'm in a sticky situation, that could be useful. I'll probably end up like swapping their movesets too, depending on what we're fighting. I just don't know... Now, Gia, I'll help, I'll help Gia out. I thought everybody in stream on stream saw the, his name. You know, of of these eight selections, <laughs> just yeah, just take a wild guess. Mac and Cheese is watching YouTube. All right. Anyway, <laughs> we're all adults here. We're not. Apparently. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Um. Oh yeah, Golduck. So we gotta set his moves. And then I should, I really should pull out Ponyta and just have her in the party. So let's put... I don't think I have any steel type. Or ice. Or fighting. That should be good. And then I don't know when I can evolve Haunter, but I gotta start collecting more of those um, satchels. This is gonna. It costs like, what, a thousand points to buy? Yeah, oof. You're very lucky, Blitz. I don't know why Nintendo let that slide. They're usually pretty good. 
They usually censor stuff. If it was viable to to um like if if an if a non-evolved Pokemon stats scaled well enough, I would so keep him a Psyduck for the whole playthrough. But even with like a Everlight or Ever Eviolite? How whatever that item is. I don't even think that's enough to to boost him. <laughs> All right, I need to grab these satchels. Because the sooner we evolve Gengar, the better. What time is it? All right, I think we'll go for 30 more minutes. I'm going to wrap it up by 3.30. That, that's, that seems like a good... Good round number four hours. God, this this sand is blinding. It's so bright. Like I thought, I thought the lights in my room were bright when I streamed, but holy cow! Yeah, I know, I know. Let's, that's why I said I need to get the satchels because, like, we're gonna need the link cable. Cost a thousand. What the? Oh, he sees me. Okay. Okie dokie. Defeat with fire move. Oh, we can do that. Oh, did I forget to get... I completely forgot to get Ponytail. Whoops. Yeah, Blitz, I think that's fair. I think you probably have the weirdest name. DK. Hello. Wait, Blitz, are you still doing the the fairy bug lock? The fa fairy bug lock. Your, your fairy nuzzle lock? What's the status of that? Okay. Just checking. Good. I don't know how to. Oh, let's let's take out stinky lettuce. <laughs> I like all these flying bugs. I don't want to get rid of any of them, but I really, uh, I really should. I gotta get scissor too. We'll we'll get there. Uh, where should I go? You know, there's a lot of water Pokemon I don't have yet. I, I think that's what I could probably do next pretty safely. You want me to name your egg? Wait, your egg and what? You know, it's funny that we don't have eggs in this game, actually. I didn't even think about that. Oh, wait a minute. We can feed seal for for uh, Pokedex XP. Let's spread the workout here a little bit. 
<laughs> Quesad <laughs> Quesadilla, if you want me to. Sure. I, I have some that, that I've already caught. Listen, if we got a shiny Sveal, that would actually legitimately be a nice backup. Because if... I feel like Walrein might be better than... Golduck as a third tier evolution. Just a hunch. I know a lot of people that are, are big fans of Sveal, yeah. There, I, I'll see, like, Sveal fan edits on my... My free page all the time. Primeye and Chewy. Oh, my team is... I have Shinies on my team right now. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We're playing... Yeah, we're playing with the Shiny Claws. Because... Because this game going to be rough. Especially as we get further into it. And like, yeah, shinies are easy to get, sort of. But it's it's actually like not. You're not guaranteed to get the ones you want, I guess. I'm extremely lucky to to get that haunter though. Like, if I can keep a Gengar for late game, that would be huge. But I might make it so that I can't use um, more than like a few shinies at a time. It's like I, if it's if I have more shinies than I have bugs, I I don't think that really counts as a bug lock at that point. <laughs> you know. Wait, does Scroopy lose its bug typing? That's so that's stupid. That's dumb. I didn't know that. So I, if I get a shiny one, then we'll, we'll use it, and it'll die, but... Oh, no, but yeah, now if it's shiny, then I can use it evolved. Sure, yeah. That's so funny. I... Uh, I need more balls. Burr, 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 burr. Um. Eighty seven points. I guess that's what I can do. I can I can just commit to Hunting for satchels for a bit. No, no, no. We want to do water. And I need to name us feel. Those are the two things I need to do right now. Alright, so the first feel in my inventory. Let's just grab that one. Okay, so... Do you just want it to be your your whole name, or I mean, I can give it a different name, or like a one of one of your names if you have other ones. All right, there we go. He's in there. Okay, if you don't have any requests, I'll just leave it your name. <clears throat> I haven't had any water since I've sat down. That's not good. Alright, to the other maps. We hunt... We hunt for points now. I think the points might be more important than Pokedex entries at this exact moment. Like, I'm not really, I'm not really gated by my star level. Because I think I can have Pokemon up to level 50, 
or 45 or something. Or yeah, we could we could just wait for his space time distortions. That's true. First things first, though, we check low punny. Catastrophia, do I actually drink G Fuel? I... I don't drink it every day. But they send me stuff, and I will I will taste things. Like, and so far, the only one that'll actually, like, go out of my way to be like, that was good, and I'm gonna, like... Because what I'll do is I'll put it... I don't mix it with water, because I... I don't like drinking, like, non-carbonated drinks like that. If I'm gonna have, like, a caffeinated soda or something, I, I, like, I put it in salts or water, basically. Um, but they have, like, a blue raspberry. That's pretty good. Because it's really sour. Yeah, I think, I think they did recently do, like, a big campaign to reach out to a bunch of people. Um... Because it's, I think it's, it's not too hard to get into their program. But it's all, like, commission-based, so. Which is kind of nice, in a way. Because there's not much, there's not many strings attached. Like, you're pretty much allowed to advertise it however you want. <laughs> so, like, I mainly, I mainly use it um, as, like, a spot for the podcast. Because unless you're doing, like, a whole sponsored short video, like, it, to me, it doesn't make sense to try to drop G Fuel codes in random places. I kind of wish they did more, um, like, canned releases, though. Because I would much rather just buy, like, a can and, and have, like, a drink that way than have to deal with powder. Personally. Which is why I, I literally just put the powder into cans. <laughs> like, I'll just do it myself. Seven Eleven, True. That's true. You can buy G Fuel at 7-Eleven. That's true. Taruby. I guess I should probably beat some of these up. <laughs> it's just I should yeah, I should just put the code the code for G Fuel covering my face. Just like, yeah, ten percent off use code super and just it's like right over my eyes. That would be cool. That would be people would love that. Like guys, I know I know you want to see my my re like reactions to stuff happening in the game, but like Gotta pay the internet bill. <laughs> uh yeah, that's classy. Classy stuff. <laughs> All right. I guess what I can do on this map is is hunt down if there's even water pokemon around anywhere. I'm not seeing any. There we go, there's Quillfish. Yeah, yeah. If I ever caught a gold bat either. During all that all those low punny runs. There we go. Yeah, that was my first one. What 
do I need to do with him? Aqua Tail. Oh, I need to catch the Alpha. That's that's free points. I should do that while I'm here. Easy. I mean, I think it'll be easy. Yeah, I don't know. It's not looking good for getting a shiny this stream. That's... I mean, the Ponyta? I get, you know what? The Ponyta counts. If the Ponyta counts for the shiny claws, then I guess that also has to count for the, the stream shiny. Hey! First shot. Love that. Yeah, we did. It does count. Because we've only got what? I got 13 minutes. I, I don't know. We did get really lucky, though, with that. Pulling that Haunter, like, was minutes away. Like, I was about to leave that whole area and be like, all right, I got to fast travel. But then, last second, decided to walk, like, another 10 feet forward, and that's when we found him. So cool. Is that the Ryan Gosling? He's not a fan of Arceus? Oh, man. I don't know what he's doing in this stream. Too bad. I don't even think I have rock type moves. That is that is D Ryan Gosling. Jeez. <laughs> I'm honored. That's crazy. Is that a new movie? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I want to say that movie came out like two years ago, but... Or no, I'm thinking of... Is Maybe that is actually a new movie. I'm thinking of that movie he made where he's like an NPC in a, in a MMO. In some like GTA Online kind of thing. That is the one. <laughs> you know what's funny, Ryan Gosling? As... As old gen as this game looks, it still looks better than um, Scarlet and Violet. That's so... That's, that's the real tragedy. Pikachu? Pikachu, please. Please stay in the ball. There you go. Good Pikachu. That's our first Pikachu. <laughs> Not even bothered. Oh, that was Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, I'm dumb. Ryan Gosling, he's the... He's the Ken. He's the Ken guy. You have to go make more movies? Alright. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day, Ryan, to come into a Pokemon stream. <laughs> I, I would love to hear your opinions about other video games, though. It's very fascinating. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Gosling is just Ken. Right. See, I should know this. I should. And then you got Ryan Rudd in the new Ghostbusters. We love Ryan Rudd. And then we have Ryan Wilson from The Office. And then there's also Ryan Carell is also in The Office. Not to be confused with the character named Brian in The Office. I personally really enjoy Ryan Cruz's work in Mission Impossible, but 
Like, that guy is bold, doing his own stunts. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Ryan Krasinski. I don't know why that's funny. There's probably a lot of people in real life named Ryan Krasinski, and I'm sorry if you're one of them. Anybody watching this. Ryan Murray... It's not even a contest with Ryan Murray, like... That's not even fair. That guy's just naturally funny, like, you can just... Ryan Murray can just sit on a camera and not say anything and, and make people laugh. <laughs> Ryan Krasinski. Oh, his name's Paul Rudd? Oh, no, okay. No, I hear that. No, people people mix that up all the time. Ryan Rudd? Yeah, that's a very common mistake. <laughs> it's amazing how there's just certain last names that you'll never see paired with certain first names. Assuming the parents have any, like, brain cells at all. Yeah, Ryan Rudd sounds bad to say. Let's not name our kid Ryan. <laughs> eight minutes eight minutes and we're out of here you know someone morgan morgan see even that's kind of a meme because like we got the, you got the law firm you got morgan and 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 morgan, and morgan. I mean, I don't know if you get, uh, like, that might not be, like, an international, or a, yeah, international commercial? Nationwide, I should say. But I get more, I hear Morgan and Morgan ads all the time. I like when they get their kids involved, too. When, like, these local businesses force their kids to film commercials with them. <laughs> it's, it's my favorite. It's hard to watch. But that's what makes it good. Can I name a flying bug Guster card? Yes. <laughs> yes, Josh. In a heartbeat, if I... If I end up having to catch more bugs... I have a pretty decent backlog. But like, if, if Comhole dies... I'm probably gonna need to catch a replacement. Um, so, yeah, you, you might get your Guster car one of these days. Oh, dude, why can't I throw? Come on. I'm throwing my throws. Eat. Eat food. Eat food. Eat the food! Oh, yes. Yes, turn around for the food. He doesn't... He did not like the food. Oh, the other guy is stealing it. Bad. If I could just catch one alpha, it's a, it's a decent little... Dude, like, it's not that hard. God. It's because we're not backshotting. That's all, that's what it is. Yeah, you play this game for hundreds of hours and then you forget the importance of Getting the back shot in there. Used to have controls for this game as muscle memory. Yeah. No, it, it came back for me pretty quick. Oh, I'm so dense. His hitbox is too big. That's stupid. That should not have hit him.
No, 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 no. Come on. Buddy. My buddy guy. What level is he? I might be able to fight him. Like, <laughs> this is already... Whatever points I get for actually catching him is probably not worth it. With, the, like, the amount of time I've spent. Did he die? Oh. No, he's he's there. Go back. Go back. Yes. Okay. That. We got it. Yeah! I told you. I said it. <laughs> oh, that was too long. All right, we're we are approaching four hours in just a few minutes here, so I think I think we will call it. I don't have any big last things to do. I don't think we're literally just. Well, I guess the goal was to get um, Peep evolved so that he'd be ready to fight the uh, the stuff on that lava lava place with lava guy. Yeah, we caught the big alpha bl uh, flotsam. Flotzel? Flopper? I don't know. Flipper? I see these names all the time and I, I rarely ever have to actually say them out loud. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow we're gonna be taking a break from the bug lock. We're gonna be playing Unite again with people. Um... But then that slot might rotate to other multiplayer games. So at a certain point, I think I'm going to let people like vote on like if they want to play a certain multiplayer game. Even if that means like starting a server on something, like we could get we could get creative with it. I don't know that we would do that like all the time, but at least like once a week, I think that's like that would be a fun thing to do. Overwatch. <laughs> Blitz, no offense. I think I would at this point. I think you would. I would literally have to be paid to play Overwatch. And I, I like. It's it's not a bad game. And anytime I play it, I do like enjoy it. But it just depresses me that they they're so like. Why why can't they do single player stuff? Why why do they cancel all the fun things? <laughs> like I'm, I'm mad at Blizzard for just how they handled everything about Overwatch 2, because it, it had me excited, and then it then they dropped the ball so... so hard. Because before they were, they were like, oh, well, we're delaying single-player stuff, and like, oh, yeah, PvE is coming, but it's not... it's not a priority. And then I think, like, a few weeks ago, they were like, yeah, no, we're not doing anything. <laughs> we'll do the seasonal events, and maybe, like, the levels that we already have will come back, but... So sad. Yeah. Yeah, I played... Um, they released a chapter of it, like a handful of levels, and I thought they were really cool. But I guess they just don't... They just don't make money doing that. Skins just make so much more money. <laughs> like why, would, why Why? make an uh, actual game? Yeah, Blitz, this is, this is why it's going to have to be a vote. Because if I let one person control it, they're just going to say Overwatch or Fortnite or something. But if enough people request it, that could happen. I I have to accept the risk. But I, I do need to figure out like what the terms are for letting people... Um... There's also just like people that have been in the server for a long time that have been asking for certain games. I'm sure you guys have seen Kirby and his, his request of Snatcher. Like, that might be something I actually play someday. I don't know when. Uh, but, alright. Yeah, that's that's the stream. Officially four hours. That's a clean shot. Thank you, uh, Venusian Luna, for the, the roses. I just saw that. Elibits? I mean, we already played Elibits. I, I would play more Elibits. Easy. Happily. 
100% elibits on stream. Might be worth. Alright, but I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Probably earlier in the evening. As early as I can manage to go live. Like, probably like 9 or 10. 10 p.m. Eastern. It might not. We might not play Unite the whole stream, though. We'll see. We'll see. I know I say that every time, but Fridays are different because people go to bed early. So I have to, like, actually... <laughs> I have to, like, for real start. All right. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for helping me name all my... My bugs. We didn't lose too many. I'm proud of that. Only one dead bug tonight. Good job, everybody. We did it.